All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So in this week's video, we are going to be taking a look at the newly updated X-Ray from Helium 10. So this is a Chrome extension, just like something like Jungle Scout or AMZ Scout. Now you guys know I've been using X-Ray and Helium 10 for many years, but they've finally updated it with some of the features that I've been crying out for. So I think this tool is even more powerful and if you're not using it for your product research, I would strongly recommend it. So let's jump straight into the video and I'm gonna show you some of these new features. So firstly, let's just pick a random niche. So I think I'll say random the amount of times I go to chopping boards. Let's do chopping board sets today to mix things up. Now the first thing that I've noticed, and this isn't even in the press release, but for me, it is a lot quicker. Now I've always found the Chrome extensions to be quite slow. So this being quicker makes a big difference because you guys know if you're carrying out product research, the amount of times you hit that button when you're doing product research is insane. So if you can save a few seconds every time you do it, then it's gonna make a big difference and save you time and hopefully give you more time to find more good products. So actually, should we just test this now? So I haven't run this yet on this niche. So let's run both X-Ray and I've actually got Jungle Scout as well. Let's run them back to back. I'm gonna open up a, a stopwatch on my phone and let's do this. So when I hit um, X-Ray, I'm gonna hit start at the same time. As you see that is set to zero at the moment. So right, three, two, one, go. And I'm gonna wait for it to appear. Once all 60 are loaded, stop. Okay, so that's just under five seconds. Now, even just comparing it to old X-Ray, that is a lot, lot quicker. And this interface is a lot cleaner, which I'm gonna to get to in a moment. Let's just do the same with Jungle Scout. So that was just under five seconds. Now, Jungle Scout, we have to wait for the opportunity score to load in the top right corner, as that means all of the products have loaded. So let's just do this again here. So you can see that is on zero. So three, two, one, go. Wait for the opportunity score. You can see the products haven't all loaded yet. Wait for that to go. Still loading the data. You can see that just changed. There we go. So that was 16 seconds. Now, admittedly, I missed that on the first click, so it's probably more like 15 seconds, but still, 10 seconds is a big difference. And I know that's just one example, and it could be a complete fluke, but generally, from my experience of using both, the new X-Ray extension is a lot, lot quicker than it used to be, and also a lot, lot quicker than Jungle Scout as well. But anyway, going back to X-Ray, I don't know what Jungle Scout was doing there, but going back to X-Ray, let's open this up for this niche. Now, one of my favorite tools, which is gonna seem really simple, Normally you have to mess about dragging this to make this bigger so you can actually see the production. You know, what's the point in analyzing 60 products and then having to, you know, can only see a few at a time? Now they've just got a maximize button. I mean, how much quicker is that? So <laughs> I know that is the most basic of features, but when you're doing product research, this sort of thing saves you a lot of time, especially when you're doing it again and again and again, which as you guys know, that is exactly the process you go through. So now a new feature they've introduced at the top is called search volume. Now this is probably the most powerful feature that has been added in this update as it is useful for two reasons. One, if the sales in this niche, if the demand in this niche is really good, but your search volume is low, you're probably using the wrong keywords for that niche, which means you're not actually getting a true uh, picture of what is actually going on in that niche. So that is something to be aware of. So if your sales are really high, but your search volume is low, there are probably better keywords that more people are using. So try different keywords, try to find the ones with the highest search volume that are still relevant, because those are the type of keywords that you want to do the analysis on, not on the keywords that are only got small search volume and high demand, as that won't be the exact match for those types of products. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is the really powerful thing is the search volume history. Now, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know, I did one a few weeks ago where I showed you actually how to use X-Ray. One of my favorite tools has always been the sales graph to see how things have sold historically. And this is a really, really powerful tool for seeing seasonality. And what I usually do is go through and click through four or five products to see what the seasonality was like and get a clear picture. Whereas now we have the search volume for the keywords you search. So rather than just seeing individual products, you can see the trend for the search term, which gives you a reflection of the whole niche. So if we just close this and go to a product that is going to be seasonal, for example, I mean, if you're in the UK, barbecues are definitely going to be seasonal. If we run this again, run X-Ray, hopefully it'll be another example of it being fairly quick. One, two, three, four, five, that's less than five seconds again, brilliant. Then hit the search volume here. Hopefully this will show seasonality in this niche. So if we go to all time, 
and there we go. So this goes all the way back to 2019. So as we've come into January, very low demand, picks up in March, April, as you'd expect, drops off in September, really, really low throughout the winter. Then again, at the start of 2020, picks up from March, April onwards, all the way through the summer, dropped off again for the winter. And as we're moving into April at the moment, you can see it's starting to pick up as the weather warms up. So this is a really powerful tool for getting an overall indication of the seasonality within the niche without having to click through individual products. So that is one of the features I'm really, really happy they have added to this new updated version of X-Ray. There are some other updates as well, some that were introduced during the last update that I've never really covered. So let me just maximize this again and run through some of them. Um, that one was the find suppliers on Alibaba. This is one they did in a previous update. And this gives you just a quick shortcut to seeing some of the suppliers on Alibaba and get an idea of pricing. So you can either look through here or you can click view more on Alibaba. So again, it cuts time having to go to Alibaba separately and put all this stuff in. You can just do it straight from with an X-ray and you can filter these results and you've got advanced filters that you can use as well. So that's a useful tool. I'm not gonna dive into that too deep at the moment. Another thing they've introduced is these thumbnails with the listing. Now, the reason I like this is usually I scan through the search results manually before I run X-Ray just to ensure that all of the products within the search results are comparable. So by getting these thumbnails, I get a really quick idea that all of these are actually barbecues and I'm doing the right thing in comparing like for like products and this search term doesn't contain a load of unrelated products which actually won't give you any useful information. So that's another feature that is really useful having the thumbnails. Another feature that I really like as well is the ability to filter the results. Now the one I always use is hide sponsored products from the results as you don't really want to see the sponsored products as they don't give you an awful lot of useful information. There are other filters you can use but the main one for me is hiding the sponsored products and when you choose apply filters you can see they disappear and it shortens down the list substantially. So that is a very nice thing they've added and that alone for me does really help with my product research. And then finally a feature which has always been there but not many people actually know about is if you're within the search results there's actually a shortcut called Calculate Fees, and this will bring up Helium 10's X-Ray Profit Calculator. So if you haven't got your own profit calculator already and you're not using the FBA Elite one, you can use this one. It's really straightforward to use, and you can read through this and figure it out yourself. But it's a nice little bonus to have when you're using X-Ray. So that is the X-Ray update. I'd strongly recommend giving it a try if you aren't already. As ever, there are discount codes available. So we've got 50% off for your first month or 10% off every month, which, so for example, we have FBA Elite 50. So just go to Helium 10 and go to the pricing link, pop in FBA Elite 50 and that will bring these prices right down. So the Platinum plan is what I use, but a starter plan does include full access to X-Ray. So if you're just at the product research stage, that might be enough for now. But when you come to actually launch your products, then you're gonna to wanna to upgrade to the Platinum plan as that's got some of the more advanced keyword research tools which you will really, really need. And um, there's another one as well, which is FBA Elite 10. So if you plan on using this long-term, this may save you more money in the long-term and that'll get 10% all of these as well. I'll pop these in the top comment and in the description, or you can just go to FBA Elite. If you're not already signed up, go to the resource section, go to exclusive discounts, and then in there you've got the discount codes for Helium 10 plus lots of other things such as the course we recommend, link my books and things like that. But there you've got the Helium 10 discount code there. So FBA Elite 10, FBA Elite 50, or just use the affiliate link there and choose which one of those you want to use. Just one quick feature I just remembered. So when you've got X-Ray running, you have the option to take a screenshot of the search results that you can then share with other people to get their opinion. And the good thing with doing this is it automatically blurs out the key information. So you can go to somewhere like FBA Elite, go to the product research forum, post a picture of your results and get other people's opinions. So hopefully you guys have found that useful seeing the new features within X-Ray. If you wanna see a full tutorial on X-Ray, go back through my videos from a few weeks ago. I'll pop a link to that in the comment as well. And that talks you through how I actually use X-Ray to find products for my own business. If you did find this video useful, I'd really appreciate it. If you scroll down, hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna to talk to me and over 3,000 other FBA sellers, sign up to fbaleak.com. It's completely free. And I'll see you guys on the forums.